Hello. This tutorial describes how to use the black knob on the side of the jam box. We also call it a tilt wheel because when the jam box is used with its bracket, you're actually tilting your head up and down to move the wheel. You'll notice on the right hand side by the notes there is a uh, indicator and this indicator goes up and down as you twist the knob or as you use the tilt wheel. Now the behavior of the knob is set up within the setup tab and specifically in knob and tilt. You'll notice that actually there are three zones that um, we um, can change in terms of behavior. There's the dead zone and the dead zone means the area in which no action occurs even if you're moving the, the knob. As you twist the knob into the middle area or the maximum area that's another range of functionality. And when you twist the knob to the very top or bottom, the minimum or maximum range, that gives yet another functionality to the knob. So there are three areas of functionality, the dead zone, the middle zone, and then the, the very ends of, of the tilt wheel. Now, in terms of the functionality available to you, that in the middle area, that is set under preferences. So if you click this preferences area, you can see set the knob action. And um, I find that pitch bend is the most useful option. But if you're familiar with MIDI instruments, you might want to go to mod wheel or continuous controller. And you'll also notice that you can set a different feature if you hold down the button while you're um, twisting the knob. But that's an often uh, infrequently used feature. So now that we have pitch bend, let's go back to play mode. And as I blow into the jam box, I'll do pitch bend. So that's what happens when I use the middle range, the middle area of the knob. But what about the maximum areas when I twist it fully to the top or to the bottom? That's in the knob behavior section. And right now I have it to change octave. Um, change means permanent. So if I switch uh, the knob, turn the knob all the way to the very top, notice that the octave went from five to six. I'll do that again. I'm gonna turn it to the very top and goes to seven. Now I'll turn it to the very bottom and it goes to six. And notice I don't have to actually be playing the jam box. I can just twist the knob when I'm not blowing or, or sipping. So now I have it at octave four. That's change octave. Now if I had it at toggle octave, what this means is that it momentarily switches the octave, but as soon as I um, re release the knob, it goes back to the former position. So right now I'm at octave four. I can go to the very top and it goes to five, but as soon as I go back down, it returns, reverts back to four. Same thing on the bottom. I can go to three, but as soon as I go back, it goes back to four. So that's what toggle means. Toggle is a momentary change while I'm at the very top or bottom of the tilt wheel. Uh, change is a permanent thing, and switch is that middle area. So as soon as I go into the middle area of the tilt knob, the tilt wheel, I go into that new range. So I don't have to go to the very top. Notice that I'm just going halfway up um, in my tilt wheel range and I go into the fifth octave. But in this mode, I don't have access to the pitch bend. Same thing if I go low, I'm going down to the third octave. Um, but again, I don't have access to the pitch bend. I find that change octave can be the most useful f feature in knob behavior but it depends on what type of song you're playing, what type of effect you want to have occur. Now, you can also do wheel only. And wheel only means that nothing happens when I go to the minimum or maximum. So I'll go to the very top, and I'm still an octave four. I go to the very bottom, I'm still an octave four. In this mode, I'm just using pitch bend, or wet up and set up. And I can also disable the functionality completely. So I. Um, when I turn the knob, uh, nothing happens. 
The other thing I should mention is that um, change octave is available in jam mode. Um, if you go to jam mode and uh, turn the knob to the very top, um, you can go, you can switch octaves. So for example, here I am in octave two in the guitar. I'm gonna switch to the very top and notice at the very bottom, now I'm in octave three. I can switch again, I'm at octave four, or I can switch down and I'm at octave three. So um, octave switching is available in jam mode. And then the other thing I should show you in setup is that when you are using the jam box in a bracket, you should click this box, inverse knob behavior. And that allows the appropriate functionality. So when you tilt your head up, the um, wheel goes up. And when you tilt your head down, the wheel goes down. So use this check, check box when you're using the jam box in the bracket. I hope you enjoy using your jam box, and I hope you enjoy using the knob to enhance your playing. Thank you.